Why not lift up your hands? I'm just thanking for his faithfulness over your life. You are the one the first Sunday of the October. Thank him for his faithfulness. Lord, we give you praise. We have come to give him a heart of worship, attitude of gratitude. Lord, we exalt you. Rebo Sadi. Begin to thank him this morning. Wave the hand to Jesus. Wave it to him. Lord, I thank you. My body is working. My leg is moving. My hand is moving. My body organ is functioning. Lord, I give you praise. Rebosade. Jesus, I give you praise. I give you praise. It's the last day of our five days of glory. Rebo, the first day of October. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for Nigeria. You kept us alive. If there is war, we cannot be praying. We cannot be in church. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Rebo, Shadi. Rebo, Shadi. Lord, we exalt you. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we adore you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say a better amen. Today is a very special day in the history of our country, Nigeria. 1960, Nigeria became independent from the colonization of British people, British government. And God has kept us together as a nation. So many things have happened that will have scattered us, but we are still together. The biggest, most populous nation, African populous nation in the world. Over 200 million people called Nigeria. Can we appreciate God for being together as in Nigeria? God is faithful. War is supposed to be in Nigeria by no war. One of the things they know Nigeria to be right now is that gospel is, trans is moving from Nigeria back to Europe. Amen. Back to Canada. Back to so many people. Right now, the gospel is so powerful in Nigeria. Before, we used to listen to American singer, but our Nigerian gospel singer are taking over. They are taking over. They are taking over. God is doing great things. And I believe God will fix this nation. Your amen is weak. Some of the nations we are running to, they are not 60 years. 60 years of their existence, they have not there. It takes time to build a nation. But God is going to make this nation to be better. We're going to pray for Nigeria today. You are in Nigeria now. I know a lot of you want to relocate to America, to Canada. But listen to me. Nigeria will be good. God will take over the nation. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands in Nigeria. You will rise. Nigeria. Your economy will rise. Nigeria. Your Naira will rise. Begin to pray for Nigeria. Pray for Nigeria. Repo Sadi. Pray for Nigeria. Yababa K. Nigeria will be good. Nigeria will be great. We believe in Nigeria. Rababa Sendakai. Pray for Nigeria. Pray for the president of Nigeria. Pray for the governor of the states. Yeraba King. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Say better. Amen. We are going to pray for the president of Nigeria. Bola Chinubu. Is the president now. Am I right? Nobody can be president of a nation if God has not ordained it. People can say anything, but if God has made it to happen. Amen. It's easy to blame leadership until you are a leader. The decadence we are seeing right now did not start from him. Am I right? It started from all over. They have been doing it. And we're going to pray for wisdom to raise this nation. Wisdom. Come and say wisdom. So let me hear you. You know, you are a leader too. Your, your, own, your own capacity. People are looking up to us. Sometimes when you are not in leadership, you don't know what leadership is all about. Leadership takes decisions that hurt people. 
But sometimes, that's the best way they think they can take that decision. They're going to pray for wisdom for the president of Nigeria. They're going to pray for the wisdom for the governor of this state. Jide Sonwolu, that the wisdom of God will flow over them to rule us well. Lift up your hands and pray for Nigeria. Pray for the president, pray for the governor. Pray for the senators. Pray for all the House of Representatives. We pray for Jide Sonwolu that you release, we receive wisdom to run the affair of the nation well. Rebo Sade. Ye Kaye Sada. Rebo Sade. Yaba Ke Sade. Woman leadership. You will lead us well. In Jesus' name we pray. Nigeria shall be great. I say Nigeria shall be great. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Shall be seated. Praise God. It looked like a no place nation, but God is going to do something. Everybody cannot re relocate. We don't even have the money. To relocate to Canada, you need 25 million. 25, we're going to be up 25 now because of the low down of our Naira. 1983, one naira to one dollar. 2023, one naira to one thousand dollar. I mean, one one dollar to one thousand naira. It was equal one one in 1983, 40 years ago. Amen. We are in. God is going to take over. There are so many implications of that. So many implications. Praise God. To travel out of Nigeria now. <laughs> It's millions. We used to go to London with 70,000 naira. But to go to London now, you need close to 2 million tickets. Praise God. But if you can do like 24 hours on the road, maybe you can do a, a, a million plus. To go to America, about 3 million. God is going to take over. He will release wisdom to this president, president. Amen. In this service this morning is the last day of our fasting. I mean, last day of our prayer. We've, we broke the fast already yesterday. Yesterday was the last day. But today is the last day of this five days of glory. And I want to release power to change levels. Come on, say power to change levels. So let me hear you. How many of you want your level to change? The will of God for every believer not to remain stagnant. I speak over your life, you will not be stuck that. Your amen is weak. Proverbs 4.18 Proverbs 4.18 The path of the just is like a shiny light that shineth more and more. The path of the just. Who is the just? Someone that has been justified by the blood of Jesus. Come and say, I've been justified. Let's read that scripture together. I want to go. I want to go. Look at it. The meaning of that scripture is that your life needs to be moving. Life is about movement. Am I right? When your life is not moving, you become a monument. It's supposed to be a movement, not what? Not a monument. Your life is supposed to be moving. There is a path. You must be changing level. When a child is born, it starts growing from meek to solid food, crawling, standing, running. That is life. Praise God. You start with primary school, go to secondary school, go to tertiary university, to tertiary institution, get married, have children. After some time, your children will get married. After some time, you have grandchildren. In fact, you'll be expecting great grandchildren. Life is movement. Anything that I've tied you down is broken this morning. You will move. Come on, say I will move. Listen to me. God designed human beings for progress. Your leg is forward moving. You are supposed to make progress. You're going to be handing the same amount you are handing two, three years ago. Life will reject it. I speak over somebody this morning. 
you are moving forward. Your amen is weak. We're going to look at the accounts in the life of a Joseph in the Bible. I'm reading the book of Genesis 41, 39. Genesis 41, 39. I will just take one verse because of time. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, For as much as God has showed thee all this, there is none discreet as seed, and wise as doubt. We all know the story of Joseph. This guy was in the house of Potiphar. He was sold as a slave to Egypt. Don't forget, Egypt was a type of America of our days, of our time. In those days when there is farming in land, they go to Egypt. So they sell him to Egypt. And he was in Egypt as a slave. And he was captured in the house of Potiphar. God has no mistake about your life. Can I profess that to someone? You'll be at the right place at the right time. Yeah. See, I will be at the right place at the right time. I will be at the right place at the right time. I will be at the right place at the right time. He was sent to the house of Potiphar, the governor. He was a slave in the house of Potiphar, the governor. Because God was setting him up to be at the right place at the right time. Amen. While he was there, the wife of the governor wanted to rape him. Is he rape? It looked like rape, Abby. Because it wasn't a consent. Amen. When two people do that thing together, they call it consent. But if it's only one that wants it, it's a rape. So a woman can rape a man. It's in the Bible. Have you thought like that? When you hear rape, what, do, what come to your mind? Man is raping a woman. But here, yeah, reverse in this case. Madame is interested in a young boy. Are you with me? You want the boy to become gigolo. Does it mean like, do you understand what I mean? Are you with me? Are you current? Come on, say, I'm current. Young man say, I will do this evil and, and sin against God. And that was how he was implicated. The evidence was the clothes. Amen. Your own evidence will be miracle this month. And we all know this story. He was in prison for no reason. But he needed to be in prison so that he can connect Baker, Butler, who would take him to Pharaoh. Can I profess that to you? Where you need to be, you will be. You will be. God is directing your step. You will meet the right person this month. Come and say, I will meet the right person. I will be at the right place at the right time. For you to change level in life, you need connection to God. God is one that can make you change level. And changing of level starts by power. Come and say, power. Say, let me hear you. Say, I carry fire. I carry power. What is power? Power is the ability to do what you cannot do. To carry this cup up, I need some energy. If I'm to carry this one, I will increase the energy. Am I right? If I'm to carry this one, I will need more energy. If I'm to carry this speaker, what will happen? If you are not careful, I may not be able to carry it alone. I will sus subscribe to more help. Some of you need to subscribe to the power of God this morning to raise you to your next level. Come on, say, I receive power. Say, so let me hear you. Now, life respond to power. In the day of his power, thy people shall be willing. Submission, helping people, getting results in life is a result of power you carry. Ephesians 3, 20, unto him that is able to do more exceedingly, more abundantly, more than what we ask, or what? According to what? Where is the power working? Touch your body. See, it's coming inside me. So what you carry inside, determine how God answer your prayer. If your power is low, result will be low. In this service, may God release power to you. Carry fresh fire. Carry fresh power. Say, power is coming to me. Joseph carried power. And that is why Pharaoh could not sleep. Can I profess that to somebody? Your helper will not sleep. 
Somebody assigned to assist you will not sleep. My God. Power to change level. Come and say, my level is changing. So let me hear you. There are seven indicators of a change level in the life of David. Seven. And those seven, as I mentioned, we are going to pray. I'm going to be more prophetic than, than expository in this scripture this morning. Every time you read the Bible, the Bible could be historical. You read the history of the Bible. The Bible could also be doctrinal. You are getting, getting some lessons to, to run your life, to build your life. But the Bible can also be prophetical. What it means is that what happened to them can happen to you. Amen. Let's look at seven indicators of change of level for Joseph. The first thing I saw about Joseph is that Joseph's wardrobe changed. Pharaoh sent and called Joseph. And they brought him hastily out of the dungeon. And he shaved himself and changed his raiment. Genesis 41, 14. The first thing that happened when God changed your level, he will change your wardrobe. Amen. Whose wardrobe is changing this week? <laughs> when Joseph left the prison, he cannot be wearing prison uniform. His wardrobe needs to change. For every level you are going, there's a garment for it. Are you with me? When a lady wants to get married or a man wants to get married, they must have a wedding suit. But you see, wedding, the, glo the person that take the glory of the wedding more is who? Huh? Is the bride. Everybody come to see bride on the wedding. They don't come to see men. Yeah, men. Huh? Let's see the bride. Whenever the bride is coming, everybody will be looking like this. Am I right? Be looking. And I've never seen an ugly bride. I've yet to see one. That day, heaven will bring beauty. And make up people who also bring their own. No be so. Are you with me? I mean, normally women are designed. They don't, when they want to go out, they have to redesign themselves. Amen? You know, we live by default and by design. Come and say default. Come and say design. When you buy a phone, there's a default setting on your phone. There's a ringtone of default. But you can now put your own ringtone. Praise God. That's why average woman will not do video call after 9 p.m. You know why? Who know why? Don't say why. Because they have make down. You know when you make up, what do you do in the evening? Somebody's wardrobe is changing. Who is that person? When you see people, the way they dress, you can tell who they are. When your level change, your wardrobe will change. Am I right? Years back as a young pastor, I have only two suits. Black and brown. And I was changing shirts inside. You know, the glory of man is not difficult to, to, to see. Praise God. And unfortunately, men don't even care about those things. Men don't even know what the other men are wearing. It's women. Say, look at your friend. Last Sunday, that's what he wear. This Sunday, this is what he wear. They always check him because that is the way they are designed. Praise God. That's how God designed them. There's nothing you can do about it. Praise God. I prophesy to every woman, you will have clothes. Your wardrobe will be double, double, double. One of the signs of change your level in life is wardrobe will change. Come on, say my wardrobe is changing. So let me hear you. God is changing your level. Number two, Joseph was giving an idea that changed the national economy of Egypt. Come on, say idea. Rule the world. Idea, rule the world. As I'm praying, as I'm praying right now, a new idea is flowing in your brain. Your amen is weak, oh. God told Joseph how Pharaoh can organize that country well. I've seen people that want to be in Egypt without any certificates. Praise God. Parents that want to pay attention to courses your children are studying in school. 
some stud, some courses are not global relevance. Come and say global relevance. Are you with me? Some courses end in Nigeria. There are courses that are global relevance. Praise God. The other time I was talking about people working remotely. I know someone working for someone abroad is earning $3,000 in Nigeria. If you earn $3,000 in Nigeria every month, how much is that in Naira? You will never want the dollar Naira to improve. Praise God. Are you with me? The reason that is possible because the kind of course they studied can is globally relevant. Is what? Everybody must be thinking global now. How do you think? How do you think? What is the opposite of global? Local. <laughs> See, that guy is so local. Have you heard it before? With me is is only Nigeria. Or Africa, you can do anything. Come on, I'll be global. So let me hear you. As I'm talking right now, somebody's watching me in America. Somebody's watching me in Dubai. Somebody's watching me in South Africa. That is why not everybody can climb this pulpit until they are global in thinking. Praise God. Are you with me? I always quarrel with the music people. When you're on this altar, you must be conscious that somebody is watching you. Praise God. Don't be looking like this when you are here. The moment you are here, you become in Hollywood and Gollywood and Hollywood. I, I, which wood do you know again? <laughs> because everybody is watching what you are doing. Idea came to his brain to change the nation. Lay your hand on your head. He said, Idea. That will change my life. I receive from heaven idea that will put money in my pocket. I receive. Amen. That is something called WhatsApp. Am I right? Is that an idea of somebody? Am I right? Is he making money? Huh? What about Facebook? What about IG? What about YouTube? You know people that are rich through YouTube now. They make money through YouTube. It's an idea. I love WhatsApp. Every time in those days when I used to travel, I'll be looking for a SIM card when I land in London. People that want to pick me, they won't know how to connect. But now the moment you get to airport, every airport except Nigerian airport, having data, free data, you connect. The moment you land, you will just see airport free data. You can connect and you can make call to anywhere. Or do they have in Nigeria airport? Free. They have it now. Okay. Thank God. Praise God. We will have it in the church one day. God will use you. Idea. Some people are looking for money but they don't have idea. You need idea. Idea is what brings money. Praise God. Idea is what, what does what? America is not a nation. It's an idea. That's why you can carry your pregnancy of eight months, land in America, deliver the baby, and in one month the baby collect passports. That's an idea. If you go to London to give birth, you're on your own. The baby cannot collect passport until he has lived there for seven years. They have a law. But America is an idea. Idea is what changed the world. May a fresh idea come on you. Amen. Your amen is weak. Amen. Your amen is weak. Amen. Wisdom to do things is coming on you. Amen. Say, I receive wisdom to change my level. Amen. Number three, Joseph was given a ring. He was given what? Genesis 41, 42. And Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand and put it upon Joseph's hand. And I ran virtue of violin and put a golden chain about his neck. Ring is a sign of authority. Sign of what? On the wedding day, what happened? There's an exchange of what? Which means that you have authority over me, I have authority over you. The car you have, I own it. The house you have, I own it. Praise God. 
That's authority. Today, may you receive authority for a change of level. Your amen is weak. As you change level, authority come on you to, 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 to change things. Number four, Joseph was given a chariot. Genesis 41, 43. That means mobility. Come and say mobility. As you change level, you buy cars. How many of you need cars here? Raise your hands if you need cars. I don't care how much you are selling it. Grace is coming to buy car. Grace is coming to buy car. As from today, you will not use your leg anymore. You'll be driving cars. You'll be driving cars. Come and say, I receive it. Come and say, I receive it. Come and say, I receive it. Can I pray for you that want to buy a car? Rise up on your feet. You want a car? Rise up on your feet if you need a car. If you are watching me online, you can connect. Listen to me and listen well. Car is a, is a grace. Money to buy car, I release it on you. Car will come to you. As from today, receive cars. As from today, receive cars. As from today, receive car. As from today, receive cars. As from today, receive car. Sit down. After the service, Google the kind of car you want. Begin to look at it. You can print it out. And put it near your fridge. And say, this is my car. It's coming. Who am I talking to? Your car is coming. Can I prophesy that from the month of October, we'll be blessing car every Sunday. We'll be blessing car every Sunday. Your car is coming. Your car is coming. Your car is coming. Receive car. It's a sign of change or what? September 4, 2001 was my first time in America. I was invited by a church to minister. When I landed, I was in the house of the pastor. In the evening of the service, we went to church. When I got to the car park, I saw car everywhere. I told pastor, I said, there are many crowds in this church. He said, why do you say so? He said, car. I said, no, car, everybody owns car here. Car is the least of the people's problem here. When I entered the church, I only saw 80 people. But we have 80 cars. Praise God. Imagine everybody come with a car and you bring your neighbor. The church will grow. True of us? Who need a car? I drop it on you. Yeah. Number five, Joseph's name was changed to Safinity Fania. When your level change, God magnify your name. God does what? It will circulate your name with favor. Say, a Muslim will carry favor. Shout it. <laughs> Mention your name and say, let it carry favor. Your name will carry favor. In every kingdom, they will respect your name. They will respect your name. They will respect your name. God will give you a name. This is above every other name. God will give you a name. It's above every other name. Receive name. Let God magnify your name. Let favor gather your name. Thank you, Jesus. You know what God gives to Jesus is what? That is above. That are the name. Every knee. So they respect the name of Jesus in the demonic kingdom. If you if a, if a witch is come and I say, I will be, come out in the name of Jesus, you will come out. Because we have been given that name. Praise God. So name open door. Do you know that? When you mention your name, say, wow. You know that man? Yes. Okay, what do you want? Praise God. Ah, God will give you a name. Amen. Let me also prophesy that your name will not be spoiled. Amen. Your name will not be destroyed. Amen. The Bible says a good name is rather chosen than silver and what? Your parents will always tell you, remember the son of whom you are. Don't spoil this family name. Amen. Amen. Your name shall be glorious. Amen. 
So one of the change of level, a sign of level is a change, is a good name. God give you names. Praise God. You mention your name, I know him. You mention your name, I know him. You mention your name, I know him. Oh, that man, I know him. Praise God. Number five. I mean number six. Joseph got married to the daughter of priest of On. Genesis 41, 45. One of the indicators of change of level is ability to settle down. I have a good news for all singles. This is your year. Your amen is weak. You will settle down. Marriage is the will of God. The will of God is for us to, have to be married. To be living alone is not good. I speak over every single. God will settle you. I say God will settle you. God will settle you. Devil is fighting marriage in the world. He designed a demonic idea called gay. Gay movement, lesbians. It's a demonic idea. Created male and female. Am I right? Praise God. When you get to some toilets in the Western world, they will tell you this is for all sexual orientation. Male, female, and another one. Devil is a liar. Devil is what? <laughs> marriage shall be easy for you. Amen. You will enjoy your marriage. Amen. Some of you that are struggling with your marriage, you will enjoy your marriage. Amen. The will of God is for you to be married and live well in marriage. When a child is raised by a father and a mother, that child will be very, very okay. When a child is raised by only one parent, God will help that parent to play the two role, but it's not easy. Praise God. It's not going to be easy. Amen. If your mother, you are the, maybe the husband have died, the mother is the only one raising. It's not easy. Praise God. The role of a man in raising a child, the difference of the role of a woman in raising a child. The father is in charge of authority and identity. Come and say authority. Say identity. Say authority. Identity. When Jesus' ministry started, the father spoke, this is my beloved son. What is that? Identity. The father spoke in heaven. This is more, what? This is my beloved child. He was telling the world that this child belongs to me. He's giving that child identity. So later, Satan now came. He said, if you are the son of God, command this stone to become what? But Jesus has heard from his father. So he didn't, he wasn't moved. Some of you, the reason why you have problem with identity, you have not heard from your father. Your daddy never tell you, you are my son. Anybody that taught you, let them know you are my son. Praise God. Are you with me? I always tell my children, let people know that you are my son, you are my daughter. Praise God. And they walk tall because they believe that this is my father. If you are hearing me, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If you are hearing me, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So identity is what a man, a man gives to the children. You also give them discipline. Come and say discipline. When a child, when a mother says, I will beat you, I will beat you, the child will be smiling. Have you? But when the father look, just look, what happened? The child will adjust. Am I right? There are people today who have never had authority figure in their life. That's why when you tell them, park, sit there, they look at you and say, who are you talking? Because they don't have, they have never had authority. Mothers always care. Come and say care. Ah, nobody care like women, mothers. They care for you. Even you that are already a grandchild, they will still be telling you, are a grandfather, they will be telling you, so TJ, Abi. Your mother will be telling you that already a <laughs> grandmother. Have you eaten? Because women are designed to what? To care. So any attack over your marriage, over your home, back to sender. Yeah. Joseph, number seven. Joseph had two children. Joseph was born two sons before the year of famine. Asena, the daughter of Potiphar, priest of On, he born two children, Ephraim and Manasseh. One of the signs of change of level that God gives you children 
I prophesy to you that need children. Receive power. You will get pregnant. You will have your own children. Come and say, I receive it. Come and say, I receive it. Listen to me. Why God gives children to us is for us to have future. Come and say, future. It's to have someone that will take care of you at your old age. Amen. You need children. And listen very well to me now. If you've been married for 10, 12, 15 years and children are not coming, go and, ad go and adopt. Go and what? It's not because you don't have faith, but you can start somewhere. Adoption is good. Are you with me? Adoption is what? We are all adopted children of God. We are adopted. Children does not take care of you because they, are, they look like you. They take care of you because you raise them. You parent them. Praise God. Have you not seen children that is not even the biological child? But the person that raised them is whom they know. Am I right? Huh? Say, ah. This, this, is man, this is man that raised me. So, it's lack of wisdom to feel like adopting children is wrong. Is it lack of what? As some parent, some children are crying for parents. Some parents are crying for children. Are you with me? Go to Vondalet's baby home. Children have been dumped. Am I right? Some organization carry them. And those children will wake up and say, one day give me a parent. And you go there and pick them and raise them. And they will take care of you at your old age. They will know you as a parent. Is somebody hearing me now? Am I helping somebody? You see, Africa, we, we don't, we, we take everything so serious. Ah, we will, look, we will be looking at me. Who look at you? Who care? People don't, they don't have your time. Home. You are the only one that think they are looking at you. They don't even see you. Praise God. Are you with me this morning? Years back, a couple in this church, after many years of not having children, I advised them to adopt. And the man said, no, pastor, I don't agree. The wife went and adopt. It was a quarrel. But now, this is the same child that is helping them. Praise God. And every time the man would tell me, thank God that you've, you force us to do it. That's what leadership is all about. Praise God. Adoption is not bad. Are you with me? I'm not saying there is no faith. Are you with me? But you can adopt. I know a popular pastor. I don't want to mention his name. When we and the child didn't have children on time, they went to adopt. After they adopted, four years after, they now have two other children. Biologically. Adopted one. And I, they don't, you don't know the difference. I, pre I pray for you. You will, not, you will not die without a seed. You will not die without a seed. Number eight, Joseph gathered corn like sand of sea. Financial prosperity. You will make money. Amen. Come on, say, I will make money. Amen. Who wants to make money this year? Wave your hand to Jesus. Say, money is coming for me. Amen. The only thing in life that we can never be tired of having is, is money. Not everybody wants to marry. Some are already married. Am I right? They are too married. Go. Not everybody wants more children. The one they even have, they can pay school fees. But everybody needs money, including Dangote. Am I right? Who need money here? Begin to clap your hand. Begin to call for money. <laughs> call money. Money is coming to you. 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 Receive it. Amen. What do you do to receive the power to change level? Number one, seek the Lord. Come and say, seek the Lord. Open your Bible to 2 Chronicles 26, 5. I love that scripture. 2 Chronicles 26, 5. And he sought God. Let's read together. One to go. In the days of Zechariah, who had understanding in the visions of God, and as long as he sought the Lord, God made him to do what? Stop seeking things. Seek God. The reason we come to church is to seek who? Huh? 
who come to see God. They call this place the house of what? You, you see God in the days of Zechariah. And God, because he was seeking God, God now made him to do what? So who can make you to prosper? Seek God. Psalm 34 verse 10. The young lion do lack and suffer what? But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. So if you are a seeker of God, God, I need you. God, I want to know you. You cannot suffer any good thing. You know, God has given lion so much power. In the animal kingdom, lion is the chief. Is who? It was made the, the chief. The lion of tribe of Judah. Amen? You see, there are bigger animals than lion. Elephant is bigger than lion. Am I right? But God didn't choose elephants. That is why in a family, God can bypass first born, second born, third born, fourth born, fifth born, sixth born, and will pick the last. And will make him the first. Praise God. He will have wisdom more than other people. He will have connection more than other people. He will have money more than other people. Ha! I see God crowning you. I see God crowning you. God told Lion. He said, Lion, I make you the king of the jungle. Daniel is coming there. Don't touch him. And Lion said, yes, I hear. So when Daniel went to Lion, the Lion was looking at him like this. Because he's obeying the command of who cranny, who chose him. Praise God. When Lion wants to eat, he will urinate, urinate around the bush and it will roar. When they hear the roar of lion, they will be running. When they get to where he has put his urine, they will not be able to go. And they will be picking them and be eating them. That's authority God has given to lion. The authority God gave to snake is fear. Come with fear. If you see small snake here, what do you do? <laughs> you will be afraid. God gave every animal their authority. But with the authority lion has, the Bible says the young lion do lack and suffer what? But those that seek God. So if I'm seeking God, I cannot suffer. If I'm seeking God, I will not, I will not want good things. Things will be working for me. Grace to seek God will fall upon you. Amen. Number two, serve the Lord. Tell you, nobody serve the Lord. He said, We will bless your bread and your water. Exodus 23 26. You will bless your bread and your water. When you serve him, you shall serve the Lord your God. He will now bless your bread and your serve God. Serving God is not attending church. Oh. Serving God means you are doing something to advance the kingdom. Ask your neighbor, what do you do in this house? What do you do in church? Some people do nothing. You just come to church. They never join any department. They never serve with their talent. Three things you need to use for God. Your time. Come and say time. Talk to me. Say time. Say talent. Say treasure. Say time. Talent. Treasure. Some people are on the camera right now. They are using their talent. They are not paid. They are serving. So people carry this water here. They are serving. So people clean the church. They are doing what? So people are in this choir. They are not being paid. They are serving. What do you do to serve God? So people join prayer department. Every Friday we will pray in this church. Every Friday. People will leave their house and come and pray in the church. That's a service to God. You shall serve the Lord your God. You shall bless your words. And it will take sickness away. Ah, you will not be sick. Yeah. Number three, give to the Lord. Come and say give. Say, let me hear you. Every cobalt that comes to your mind, every dollar that comes to your mind does not belong to you alone. You must seek, you must give God his part. I speak over your life today. Power to change level is coming on you. Yeah. Rise up on your feet. Thank you, Father. See, I am changing level. Say, I am changing level. Lift up your hand and begin to pray right now. I am changing level. Power to change level. is falling on me this morning. I am changing level. Rebo Sade. I am changing level. I am changing level. I will not remain where I am. Rebo Sade. Yababa Ke Sade. I am changing level. I am changing level. My status is changing. My economy is changing. 
My life is changing. In Jesus' name we pray. Look at me. Don't ever say what people say that Nigeria is hard. It's not going to be hard for you. In the midst of bad economy, you are rising. Somebody say, I am rising. Somebody shout, I am rising. Do you know people will still get married? Huh? Will people buy houses? Will people buy cars? As long as the world is sister, people will be traveling. Praise God. They'll be what? They'll be traveling. They'll be going nations. They'll be getting married. Somebody is planning wedding. Praise God. They won't say there is no money. People will give birth, have you? And they will still do naming ceremony. Although you can do naming and leave ceremony. You can leave wedding and leave what? Naming means that very early in the morning, before people wake up, <laughs> pastor will come and name the baby. And you will say, everybody, I'm marrying later. <laughs> but if it's a ceremony, it's in the evening. Am I right? After work, you, you invite people. That's a ceremony. There's a wedding, there's a wedding ceremony. Wedding, wedding means that only a few people pastor and some few people we go to court, we come to church 15, 20 people that's a wedding but it's a wedding ceremony, it's Saturday and you take her, have you? decoration will go on as you are changing dresses they are changing your makeup hey praise God whether wedding or wedding ceremony one will happen for you Name it ceremony. What we have for you? Housewarming will be your portion. Your level is changing. Somebody shout, I am changing level. Hold your neighbor. This is the last prayer. You're going to pray for somebody. You are changing level from today. Tell your neighbor, say, you are changing level. As from today. Begin to pray for that person. Pray for him. Pray for him. You are changing level. As from today. You are changing level. Somebody pray, somebody pray. Rababa Sendakai. Yay! You are changing level. I am changing level. Ray Sade. Ray Sade. Rebo Sade Kai. Rebo Shade Kai Rebo Shade Kai Rebo Shade Kai Your levels changing Your levels changing Your levels changing In Jesus name we pray I saw an angel sharing keys God says you pray for people that want to build out before the end of this year. Come forward if you want to build out before the end of this year. Maybe you are building, you need help. Come, come. Pick your phone. Pick anything you bring. Come. I saw keys being delivered. Keys. Rebo Shade. Rebo Shade. Rebo Shade. Yeah, there's a change of level. Lift up your hands. Say today. I receive mandates to buy a house, to buy a land, to build. I receive grace for it. I release. Take it. It's coming to you. I release it. Take it. It's coming to you. Take it. It's coming to you. Your doors are open. 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 Receive it. After this 30 days, your life will never remain the same. You are moving to your next level. Your doors are open. Thank you, Father. Give Jesus a clap of it.